Almost 400 people have been recognised in this year's Queen's Birthday Honours List. Receiving the top gong, High Court Judge Susan Kiefel from Queensland, who becomes a companion of the Order of Australia. Recipients come from all walks of life and all over Australia, but they have one thing in common. They've all gone above and beyond in their contributions to the community. This year's Queen's Birthday Honours list has plenty of familiar faces. Former Deputy Prime Minister and Nationals leader John Anderson becomes an officer of the Order of Australia. I really share it with Julia because it was a team effort, public life, and family do bear the brunt of the very considerable sacrifices and stresses that come with the job, and probably they get fewer of the good times and more of the down times than the person involved. He's not the only politician. Former New South Wales and Federal Parliamentarian Bob Debus gets a gong, so too former Keating Treasurer Ralph Willis. And South Australian Natasha Stott Despoyer, recognised for her time as a senator, leader of the Democrats and as a role model for women. This is a great honour and I'm very proud of the fact that uh, I've played some small part in getting more women actively interested in politics, uh, even running for parliament. For distinguished service to national and international law enforcement, the former commissioner of the Australian Federal Police, Mick Kelty, becomes an officer of the Order of Australia. The ABC's managing director, Mark Scott, is on the list too for distinguished service to the media and communications. It's a recognition for all the ABC's been doing and I think I, I just uh, embody the team of people who are at work here and then I feel that you know, we've done some good work, but there's lots more to be done. With 25 books to his name and more to come, author Peter Fitzsimons is honoured for service to literature and the community. For him, the Order of Australia is a family affair. His late mother was honoured in the list in 1992. Whatever I do for the community, I, I, measure, I have measured it over the years against what my mother contributed. And I always thought, well... Many a time I thought, oh, I haven't got the time, I don't want to do that. I thought, oh, well, Mum would want me to do that, and Mum would. And so I feel somehow, all these years down the track, she would have been very pleased, as would my great father, who was also deeply involved with the community. In sport, Supercross and Motocross champion Chad Reid made this year's list, and for service to cricket, the legendary Max Walker becomes a member of the Order of Australia. It's way out of left field. Um, you start off in life, don't you? With a few dreams, um, you pick up some skills along the way, maybe take a wicket here at the MCG, kick a few goals and study architecture and try to create something fantastic. And uh, a few decades down the line, this happens to you. And, well, I'm normally not stuck for words, but uh, it's, wow, yeah. Honoured to many tireless charity workers, like Lady Suzanne Martin, She's spent the last 21 years working for the foundation her husband, the former governor of New South Wales, the late Sir David Martin, set up to help homeless youth. Since David died, we've looked after and sent off hundreds of children. But he, he would just love it. But anyway, he's not here, so he would be thrilled with what his name is doing. Selena Edmonds, Sky News.